See, the real issue for Paul isn't so much the disputable matters themselves. It's how we treat each other when we disagree. Emphasizing that the call is to treat each other with love and respect even when we disagree. That's one of the real issues for Paul. Because then he goes on to say in verse 10, You then, why do you judge your brother or sister? Or why do you treat them with contempt? The real issue is how we treat each other when we disagree. And do we have the ability and the capacity to respect each other in those places? The other issue that's at stake here for Paul is that it's Jesus who is Lord. He is the one who is the true Lord, which makes him the judge, not us. And Paul is saying that we all will have to give an account because all of us someday will stand before the Lord's throne and give an account of our lives. This is what he says, continuing on in verse 10. For we all stand before God's judgment seat. It is written, as surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me. Every tongue will acknowledge God. So then, Each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. So, when my time is done, and I stand before the Lord, I will give an account of whose life? Mine. Not yours. Not your brother's. Not your sister's. Not your mom's. I will give an account for my life. I will give an account for how I lived, how I led, the convictions that I have, the way that I engage with God's people, I will give an account for my life. You will give an account for your life. So who do you need to be most concerned about? Yourself. 